Welcome back to Storm of Truth Preparedness. If you're brand new to this channel, I'd love for you to give me a like by hitting that thumbs up button, share this video, and be sure and hit that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. We have tried our best to go self-reliant as possible. And if anybody's brand new to this channel, this is not all the food we got. We've still got a lot more can that y'all don't see on video. And plus, I've got some more areas for a just-in-case scenario, in case this gets compromised and something goes down all the way to survive on other means. So there is a lot of processed food up here, just like that carrot cake. Every once in a while, I like something sweet like that. I always have. Just like them, that cake right there. I think that's good comfort food, especially for what we're going through right now this day and time, to go ahead and enjoy something. Because one of these days, all the stores could be shut down or anything else, because... Well, right now, we're all looking at economic collapse at any time, unfortunately, especially the way everything's run. But what I'm getting at in this video, nothing has been wasted. We are, I don't know what percentage we are right now, self-reliant, but I would say for anybody right now in this system that we live in, it's so hard to go all the way off grid. It can be done. I've done it before in my life. I've been without power, without water, and everything else when I was younger and a different part of my life when I was in my 20s at one time. Had some hard times, and I had to more or less do what I had to do to survive at one time, just to be honest with you. And I'm sure a lot of people on here has done the same thing. But there's videos out there with cabins all over that they're all the way off grid and stuff like that. Many of them, and I know many of them too, that's doing the channels. But you've got to remember, it can be done in right locations. You have to anywhere, to be honest with you. But we are so linked to this system right now. To go ahead, something so handy, go ahead and go to the store and get something. It's just, really, it's uh, so accommodating, to be honest with you. We all get used to that. Just like if you need air conditioner, cut your air conditioner on. Even though the power bill will jack you up to the roof. But so many people was talking to me about, like, Processed food. I've eat this stuff on and off all my life, and I try to eat healthy too, as good as I can. But our body is super forgiving, the way God created our bodies. If you take care of your body as well as you can, vitamins, nutrients, and everything else, your body has got a way to go ahead and fix itself and everything, just like I said, the way God designed us. So just like every once in a while, if I eat that cake right there, I can still go ahead the next day and try to stay away from sweet some and good to go, which I usually eat some sweet every day. I think a lot of times, even if you are diabetic, I know we have a diabetic in the household and stuff, and she still has to eat sugar, and she loves sugar. Sometimes her sugar go low, so I'm sure there's a lot of diabetics under you understand exactly what I'm saying. The body needs some sugar. But the videos is out there. Most of the people that does them videos and has little cabins makes pretty good money on YouTube. And I'm very proud for them. And they've got houses in other locations in different states. So really, even though they say they're off grid, they are during camera in the time they're there. But the most, most of the time, they're just like me and you. They have normal lives. They have power. They have water and they just. They eat stuff like I'm looking at right here. That's just part of life. That's just what they chose and everything to make their income. And they're doing well, and I hope they keep on doing well. And to me, it's relaxing watching channels like that, too. But it is so hard this day and time in 2023 to go ahead, especially if we got two kids, just go ahead and go off-grid and self-reliant all the way. So we're more or less supplementing. Like I feel like most people on here that I'm talking to on this channel right now is doing the same thing so we can relate on stuff like that. I just want to talk a little bit about going off grid and my idea on self reliant and stuff. For this day and time, I think we need to use all the resources we can to survive, especially with cooler weather coming. If you gotta get gas, or the gas, if you got to use electric, use electric, whatever backup you got to use to survive the winter. Then if you ever want to go off grid, that's up to you on that all the way. It's a lot harder of a lifestyle, but I'll have to say that. But that is my take on everything right now. People going off grid and self-reliant and everything else. 
And y'all, we have vacuum sealed a lot of macaroni and cheese if you don't set macaroni and cheese no more. And I know most a lot of stuff is genetically modified. I wished it wouldn't. But most of that stuff it is. And I have ate as much of it as anybody in this world. I'm still breathing and talking doing this video to you. And thank you, Lord, I'm still in decent health. But I plan on doing a lot more next year. Try and grow my own just like we are now. We do every year and stuff and canning and everything else. But the moral of the story is, do all you can do. But we are living in society right now that we are reliant on this system. Till something changes in the future, we'll just have to do the best we can do and just use our own belief systems. Do what best fits your own family. And thanks for taking the time watching this video. And y'all do the best you can do, whatever you are, if you're prepping, anything, gardening. It'll work out. We've survived this long. We'll survive some more. And y'all have a good day.